in execution part i just you have to forecast you have to forecast based on your prior experience and whatever the contract document or whatever the document available in your hand you have to go through quickly and prepare if uh, uh, prepare a uh, initial uh, data okay you have to forecast forecast means maybe you think that something will happen um, wrong in your project okay so you have to forecast all those things and capture all the data and give it pass on to the design team so that they can incorporate or any changes is happening in your past project which you want to incorporate also in this particular projects so you have to for why it is required to minimize the uh, problem and uh, you can execute the project smoothly so that is the reason you have to understand so that you will not face any difficulties in the later stage so that is the reason forecasting is very much important project deliverables management what is project deliverable management management just a minute i so you know this uh, what are the documents will come in the picture safety plan you need to submit quality plan these are deliverables documents okay what are the documents safety safety plan quality plan then installation methodology different different package wise and uh, equipment wise installation methodology need to be prepared and submit okay uh, like electrical equipment or services methodology or method statement you have to prepare and submit and that need to submit and take the approval from the client so the, any, if any there is a, any deviation changes at site level then need to be captured also so okay. what are the deviation deviation or changes at site level if any okay maybe maintain site register okay kya karte hain hum log normally at the site level maybe there will be site register has to be maintained and and all the changes has to be um, written down uh, a note down over there and is to be agreed between the both the party there will be sign off and issue the change request and off formally through contact department issue the change request to the client and after getting the approval they need to do modifications or rework based on the change change request change, change request approval right this is the process we need to follow in the installation point of view next part installation checklist we have to follow the installation checklist we have to follow the mir material inspection report when the material will come to the site you have to go through the material inspection report uh, both the party has to be inspect the material whether that material received based on approved document or not then to be verified okay So you prepare the ITP. This is the documentation part. Okay, MIR material inspection report is to be prepared. Installation checklist has to be prepared. ITP installation test plan. I, I think you people are uh, ever uh, with all this documentation part. IR. What is IR? Installation report, and that has to be taken care and considered based on the different different uh, different project. Okay, it is not same for all the projects or all the company. So I am giving this uh, based on my some of the big projects. Point of view. So, what is the installation request? You, because before starting any job, you have to generate a inspection request to the client prior to starting execution work. Okay, you, that has to be vetted to by client. Then, then only you can start the uh, installation work. Okay, because everything has to be recorded. So, these are the documents to record. And another uh, big document you need to take care of the O and M manual. There is other more documents like the testing commissioning plan will be there, auto plan will be there, snagging plan will be there. Okay, I'm not going through this is a huge, uh, but at least you understand the basics and the fundamental. Project execution management. What is project execution management? Project execution management. There is a central planning team will be there. I already told you they maintain the various project tracker. Okay, what are the tracker? In the uh, last time, tell you project um, uh, maintain the various project tracker and follow the approved installation protocol. Okay, what are the installation protocol? that already find this the ir installation the work execution after ir approval and inspection checklist reviewed by approved authority 
the other part of the project execution management and another uh, parameter is playing a, a big role that is a reconciliation you know what is reconciliation because that reconciliation is very much important because periodically you have to check your material st stack okay what is whether the materials is sufficient or not okay that is the reason you need to uh, do this exercise uh, after one month or two months or three months okay to check your material stack okay reconciliation like cables suppose <clears throat> you purchase some 400 meter uh, um, uh, sorry four kilometer cable okay and and it has been issued from the store or some uh, some whatever so after some time uh, when uh, there is uh, maybe you require some more cable uh, to execute some job okay and you uh, you will see that you have no stock in the store okay then it will be a problem then it will take more time then again you have to uh, purchase the material so it's a chaos so better you have to periodically need to check what is your material stock and all do the reconciliation not only reconciliation for the material reconciliation about your documentation also okay that is the reason i mentioned this reconciliation part you have to understand it will save time cost of the project basically you have to pre-plan for your material timely purchasing of the material help to achieve milestone effectively if you do the reconciliation periodically so all those uh, and this will be help you this will help you to save time cost of the project reduce the risk delay and failure of a project okay what is the duration of the reconciliation as i told you maybe within one month three months that